Hey everyone, this is Tom Vylord again from Wall Street Value. Uh, today we're going to talk about the, the Piotrowski F score or the F score for short. So I'm always looking to improve my analytical skills when it comes to investing. And I always want to try to find something I can put on my investment checklist that's going to help me improve my uh, chances of finding great companies. And I was looking at the American Association of in, uh, Individual Investors a while ago. And on that website, on the stock screener section of the site, they have 75 portfolios that they track. Now, some of them are from gurus such as Walter Schloss, uh, William O'Neill from Investors Business Daily, uh, Phil Town, which is one of my mentors. And they also have other hypothetical portfolios as well. So out of the 75 portfolios, this one stuck out to me. Over a 10-year history, or since inception, which is over 10 years, uh, the F score has performed 23.7%. And out of all 75 portfolios on the AAII.com website, that was the, uh, the third best performing portfolio. Now, if you uh, filtered it to just the value investing portfolios, they were number one. So 23.7%, if you use the rule of 72 and you divide 72 by a you know, specific rate of return, that's going to tell you how long it's going to take to double the size of your portfolio. So with the returns from the F score, you're going to uh, double your portfolio in a little over three years. So not too bad. So what makes up the F score? So there's nine things that we look at on a company's financial statement. And the way this uh, particular uh, score works is one point is awarded if a company improves their efficiency from the previous year. So if they improve in the one category, they get a score of one. If they don't improve from the previous year, they don't get a point. And so a perfect score would be nine, and that would represent a great company, and the worst score would be zero. So as value investors, we want to invest in great companies, and I think that if we're searching for companies that, that rank between seven, eight, and nine using this method, we're going to find some pretty good ones here. So let me show you real quick. All right, so here are the nine criteria that make up the F score. So first off, you have uh, the categories profitability, and there's four items under profitability. So number one is a positive return on assets compared to the previous year. So if their return on assets is better since the last year, they're going to get a score of one. If it didn't improve since last year, they're not going to get a score. Uh, number two, positive operating cash flow compared to the previous year. Higher return on assets in the current year. Cash flow from operations that are greater than net income. And then we go to the second one, which is leverage, liquidity, and source of funds. So lower ratio of long-term debt to total assets compared to the previous year. Uh, the next one is higher current ratio. And also the last one under the leverage category is if no new shares were issued since the previous year. You know, issuing new shares was going to uh, dilute the value of an existing investment. And then the last couple things they look at are under the operating efficiency category. So a higher gross margin compared to a previous year is what we're looking for. And lastly, a higher asset turnover ratio compared to the previous year. So I went to Guru Focus. If you want to do all the work yourself and go on the financial statements and, and look at all nine of those categories, then God bless you, do it. I'm not going to. Uh, but here's a website. It's called GuruFocus.com. And you can ac uh, access this information here for free. Go down to Financial Strength, and you'll see it right here, the Piotrowski F-score. And this has the perfect score of nine. This is uh, Steve Madden's shoes. So we want to find something right between here, seven, eight, or nine. You know, if a company has a score of you know, five or six, as long as it passes everything else on my investment checklist, I'll be okay investing in something with a five or six. Uh, but I am going to stay away from any company that scores a one, two, three, or four on the F score. So add this to the checklist. If you want a copy of my investment checklist, head on over to wallstreetvalue.com and then go into resources and it's right there for a download. So thanks for watching. I hope this helps and I'll talk to you guys soon.